So you see, we have people who have actually done great things for this country, and we cannot denounce them. Because no matter what they do wrong, it will be like in Zimbabwe, where they had a great leader who did great things for the country, but got to a point where he made things fall apart. Let's stay on that trajectory. So SIC, you say there is state, state capture. capture. What, what, what exactly have you seen? What have you heard? That, okay. that it is not what I've seen or heard, but I'm going to talk about the indolence of journalists as well. Mm. And the fact that some of the journalists are sellouts, and I will not name you. There are people, and I named four here, that are doing a great job. For every radio or TV station I go to, I can speak truth quietly and clearly to all of them. And I can find those four too. That is not to say others will not do good. But there are journalists who only look at their belly. Mm. And that means if somebody in a position of authority wants to sleep with your wife, you will cover her in oil, you will dress her and serve her on a tray to him. Because your duty as journalists, and I trained as a journalist before going to study film and television production and I'm now doing my PhD as well. Your duty is to first dig Seek, search, retrieve. Mm. After you retrieve, you retrieve, don't only look at the facts. Analyze the facts. F for facts can be used to paint untruths. Mm. So when you get the facts, analyze the facts. So you dig, you seek, you search, you retrieve. You find the facts, you analyze the facts. It is only after you have analyzed the facts that you now are ready to have a story to give to your editor. For your editor not just to correct your spelling, because the computer can correct your spelling, but to correct your context. Right. And set the context in a manner as to warn people of what is yet to come. Call people to action to what they need to do. And out of those people you have called to action, Find your new set of public servants. So, so, so let, let, let me just ask you this, maybe the final bit. You've spoken about rot. What is the rot you've seen at the SIC? Let's call you a whistleblower. The, rot is, the rot is not at so the you are, SIC. You, you are aiding. The rot is not state. at the SIC because mm. the managers of the SIC who have spoken to me, mm. because that CEO who came from America mm. is afraid that if he speaks about it, they will take the job away from him. Why are you afraid? You're paid a wage. You're paid a wage. Your wife has a job. You must say, listen, in the history of this country, the state capture, essentially, go and read the Constitution. All public companies, all state-owned enterprises should engender the prosperity of other state-owned enterprises. Why? Because they generate income to do the work of state. Right. It is only when a state-owned enterprise cannot deliver the service that you give it to others because we must ring fence the work of state for those state-owned enterprises so that if you work at GBC, which is a state-owned enterprise, the National Commission on Civic Education, if they decide we want to advertise on joy, will still have to advertise on GBC. Why? Because when the president decides to give the station uh, 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 the, the what? state of the nation address and Lord Comey has come over to check to make sure everything is in order at the studio the president will not come to Joy FM he will not go to Wood to Me FM he will not go to Peace FM he will not go to City FM where will he go? like the Queen goes to the BBC not ITV where would the president go? to the GBC why? well as the national broadcaster that's it and it is owned by the state. So you who work for government, mm. who will take money away from government because you cannot take a bribe from government and give it to somebody in the private service because it is easier to get a kickback from there. You are only alive because it is illegal for you to be shot. What is wrong with us as a people? What is wrong with us? So we lay with our wives and they see what we do mm -hmm. and our wives cannot look at, at us even if other men have had them for wives before and say, now I am loyal, not just to values, but to you because with you, I have these children. If you do wrong and we are in China, not only will you be shot, all of us will be impoverished. If you do wrong and you are in Japan, you will commit suicide.
Why do you get away with it in Ghana? Is it because we're in a state of stupor and squalor? Or is it because all the men have no testicles and we are looking for a new Yasantua? What is it? Tell me. At least you're speaking, and you're speaking boldly. You have let's, spoken too. Let's, let's, let's Kojo, Yanka, into, Kojo Yangsen has spoken too. Let's, let's get into this aspect of the conversation. It interests me because you are- Adongo has spoken you too. Are, you are part of Nananum. Let's put it that way. Um, we've had the flag bearer of the UPP, United Progressive Party, Odike, who recently spoke about Galamse and how it is giving us a beating, how it's polluting our natural resources, especially our water bodies. And he cited Nananum and said, guess what? Some of you, the chiefs, are in there. There was huge backlash. You see, I love it. And recently, Odike. his office was vandalized he himself escaped being thrashed or maybe even shot by a whisker. The question is, why should that happen? That shouldn't happen. Do the traditional authorities even have the right to banish him? Traditional like they authorities. Have? No, traditional authorities can banish you. Mm. So for those who do not understand the culture within which we operate, mm. all land in this country is vested in the traditional authorities. Mm. Right? Mm. And that is why, before I answer the case question, I want to speak to Oboshi Saikofi. Oboshi, we are Yasan to Awati. Yo Jibo, yo Papa Jibo. Gang yo be Jibo. No new fear your airport, there were fair welling. Will you a fair one? O Bomodang. A Jibo, you will not shake up. Show Boshi, you bo. O Pete. O Pete. The lands, mm. including the ones at the airport, which we hear are being given. I love Nigerians. But no Nigerian would be so stupid mm. as to give their airport to a Ghanaian to manage. I have given the document to your producer. He's afraid to put it on the screen. He's afraid. I, I, I do not think that is the case. No, I have given it to him. He's afraid to put it on the screen. But we have, we have the royal policies that we must But let me come. Let, so check anything it. On che the yeah, check it. You can right. check it right now. Right. Right? Those lands at the airport are for Ghanaians. Mm. The management capacity and capability for the airport is within the Ghanaian ambit. Mm. Ghanaians are hospitality. So the country is basically up for sale? I wouldn't say the country is basically up for sale because you cannot go there and do that stupidity in Adansi. Mm. It happened some years ago that when they dug all the gold out of Adansi, they did not even fix our roads. They tried, they did what they could, but Adansi did not speak. Adansi did not speak because I come from a big room. My chief is Nana, I'm Waku Tufo, a learned professor, mm. a wise man. He speaks in soft tones and he tells me to be fearless, but to only speak the truth. When the gold was taken out of Adansi, Adansi was not developed. Other parts of Ghana was, were developed. Adansi did not complain. Tufo did not complain. Mm. Because Adansi is part of the Ashanti region. Let's, let's, let's. But let me come to the crux of the matter. And, and, and as you do, as you come to the crux, Oboshi's I just want thing you that to... I said, Oboshi mm. has been taken off a board because he was fighting to ensure that a heirloom does not go to foreigners. Now. Do you have they, facts to that? The facts are there. You are the journalist. Why don't you have the facts? But I am, a, re are, I am are, a retired one. He, I'm your elder. I, I get it. But I am your elder. He who alleges, you, you are fully aware of the the law. He who yes. alleges must prove. Exactly. You have proof of the proof is there. So you have the right as the fourth estate. Mm. And that is why I love Manasseh Azuri. Because mm. some of you are cowards. Mm. I love Manasseh. Manasseh, you will never eat sand. Right? Go and tell me. That's my own brother, Asante Bediechu, and you cannot blame him. Because even though he has a mind of his own, if you go and ask Ambassador DK Osai before him, if you go and ask Ambassador Kwesi Kwate before him, if you go and ask any secretary to the president before him, you silence your voice mm. to amplify the voice of your president. So no matter what conscience he has, no matter what beliefs he has, he has to sign letters on behalf of the president. Because in the event that <clears> your president <throat> is old and frail, like we do in culture, where somebody holds the hand of a tomb for because before he greets, it is so that whether you are young or old, if you are ill or old and frail, your hand is still held. So it's mm. become part of the custom. So when he signs the letter, 
he is not the one who has authorized for something to be done. Mm. He's only a secretary to the president. I get it. But the reason I am but asking that for, for, state, for, for, for just, just, just to interject, you the reason I'm asking for proof, You're afraid of the truth. Proof. The proof is in the letter there. Use the letter. Is like you suggested. Use the letter. We cannot put material that we have not verified. I pr pr promise me you will check it in two days and use it. We promise. can within with we can within. If you a don't, span. I will talk about Joy FM. My big brother is Kwesichum. Mm -hmm. He was in Presque with me, Ferret, and Frank Edu. Let, and let, if you let, don't let in two days, I will take you to task and I will say you are enablers of corruption. Let me just say this. Whatever information we get. We have to verify. Verify. That is why we are independent, Where is Evan, is and Evans, credible. Is Evans on leave? Evans is here with us. So why hasn't he verified it? How many minutes has it been? We shall. Evans is actually not here with us now. But this is something that I can guarantee. Where is Araba? I can guarantee no, you. Where we are is going Araba? To check on it. I named four of you. There are so many. I named only four of yes, you. Not, not where all are those? Are on the morning belts. But let me just let me just say this, KKD. No kure, when musuro, we have musuro no kure. no one musuro no kure. information. Okay. Every pan who fears okay. truth is an enabler of evil. So here is the point. Just, just cool down. Whatever we put up, just as the BBC or any other media outlet across the world, we must verify. The cross check you in 30 do, minutes. You do the understand that the, the cross check BBC, in 30 minutes at the BBC. Yes, but I know we also have the our producers standards and guidelines our, are in my hand. Our time I procedures. It, I know it from the beginning. So I can it. assure you, KKD, you we're going check. to work on that. Thank you. Right. I promise. But I also it, must ensure. To be fair, like the law says, yes. Audi alteram partem. Good. Listen to the other side. Yeah. We will so not go, put. We will uh, not. We stop will stop talking. Not you are not a government communicator. You brought me here we, to speak. That, the law of journalism mm -hmm. is he who brings a guest to the studio right. speaks less than thirty percent of the time. I and, allow me, and the, makes the guest speak more than seventy percent of mm, the time. Mm. Sometimes you interrupt guests who have facts to speak because you are afraid that it may lead to libel. If there is libel, let them come at me. My father says, I must speak the truth, even if they will kill me. Mm. Tell me there is not a directive from the presidency. That's the airport company, and that is what, let me tell you, whenever you see that any president, and this is not only Nanado who I love, has put somebody who is meek of mind in the position of authority, it is because that is the only way they can have puppet strings to pull them up and down. Mm. Because people who have dignity, who have boldness, will tell you, this is not right. All right. Let it is not create wealth for Ghanaians, mm. not people who are connected to your family, not people who are connected to your wife's family, not people who are connected to your friends. Open it up in a fair manner, like you said, and let every Ghanaian who is capable, let that small boy from Teshi with only one leg who has used one crutch since he was four years old to go to school and now is an accountant also apply to serve at the Ministry of Finance. Don't let you your finance minister, whoever they are. Chrissy Poche didn't do it. So Let, Tekba didn't do it. Let's, Bring people from their own company and then move people in positions where they are still being paid but are not doing much work. Mm. Why? What have you got to cover up? And in Ghana, let me say this because it will help you. Anybody in public service who cannot go on leave is stealing. Anybody in public service who cannot be moved for somebody to come and do the work is hiding something. I said it. Quote me. Maka and Maka. Na me say me can chi kasim. Na na no muta me chimi damase. Mon fam pai bo inta me chi. Na ni ame kubi ame wua. E chi ma be kai me. Asante koto ko ukuma pimwa apim me ba me kasama apim. Na pimwa me kasama omo. Em pim pim duo me chi. One honest child will rise if they kill me. You know I've only been in media brand management and culture and tourism management all these years. Mm. Why am I speaking now? Why? In because fact, some of those sending in messages have been yeah. asking why. Yeah, because in so tight a punch renia or the war. Sabi tafrache KKD die anko afa no. Onya accident wey na poma be ka ho. No kind of brofo, no true speech or bridge, no produce advertising, no produce fashion shows, no or co events, ni etu ya ka. Anka me juma no no. And state events, Nanke at Wajik, Nanko no produce because state events management. Yam farm my off as you. Yet the mouth will be a wire sabbit, sabbit a fracture. Production of film and television, all event management. The masters of those are those. Even the Pope, when he's going on a trip, the man who manages his itinerary is a producer.
Ye juma no no, ba me me nko prayer ba ye juma. Wo ni madie ntia me nko prayer ba ye. Are. Ma yon kofu e wa aban mu no, call all of them one by one. Say wo mu ko aban mu wie ye no. Ahe ni maba wo mu fie. Because you see once you elevate and uh, that the word, the word I was about to say is not good. Once you elevate people who are commoners and they get into a position of authority, they take on certain airs, not because they want to take on those airs, but because of those people who are looking for crumbs off their table who immediately start bowing to them. Let's, 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 let's move the conversation forward, but I want to take you back even at the same time to something critical in there. The chieftaincy institution yeah. and what Odike says. Yeah. Is he right when he suggests that some of Nananum are involved in Galamse. And as for the issue of banishment, I asked it from a legal standpoint, not necessarily from, because yes, as custodians of land. From a cultural land, standpoint, yes. Yes. From a legal standpoint, you may say no. Right. But you see, the law is often an ass, as Isankoma <laughs> told Yes, but, but, but let's, let's, let's focus on the Galamse point. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you, do you, do you agree? right to speak about Galamse. Mm. You know, whenever we have a message, we must choose to be aggressive, or we must choose to be meek and mild. Certain messages need aggression. But we must know the difference between our servants and our elders. No matter what a chief does, you don't insult him in public. You may say so of your politicians, because you know, like I told you, in the chieftaincy institution, I serve a great chief. In the chieftaincy institution, it is for life. Unless you do something wrong, in which case they destroy you, they take off your slippers and let you walk across the water. But in politics, it is for a term or a few. So if you can understand, now, and I think the problem with the decay, with all respect, and I love him, is that <clears throat> out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth, the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. And his heart was full with anger because he has seen how our water bodies are being destroyed. Mm. But whilst he may have the power to speak in that manner to the servants we have elevated, he cannot speak to that manner to his chiefs and elders. That is only the so, problem. So, so that is the difference. That is the only but, problem. But, but, that is the, but that, that is not to that, say you can't speak to the chief because right. I can ask. Mm. You know, uh, when I went to Akwesi Dai, Otumfo was in his apartment. Mm. He had asked for somebody to call me, say, Kwesi, I have a Now, I ma. So I went. That day, I didn't want to wear cloth because I have a way of carrying the cloth that makes me look very magnificent. So I wanted to be subtle. I wanted to serve my king. I went there wearing white, white. And standing in the crowd, Otumfo saw me seated in his... What do they call the thing they carry on the head? The palanquin. The palanquin. Mm. And you know what he did? He asked them to move towards me, came close to me, and reached out and shook my hand and said, Menana, ubai. Mm. And then they moved away again. If I have something to tell Otunfo, mm. I will ask for a hearing. So in other words, Odika didn't use the right processes. The process is what failed him. Mm. He may have the message. Right. But when you use the message, you must also choose your tone and you must use the process. So, so the so, way I speak mm. to politicians, I can't speak to my father like that. Mm. You see the difference? I see I the can't speak to Nana Amwakutufo or Nana Ejenimu Boatin mm. or Nana Sansohini of Oboasi like that. Mm. They are my brothers. They love but me. But some of these politicians are old enough to be your fathers. And yes, maybe... but they have chosen to be servants. Right. It is a choice. So I get the distinction. It is a choice. Let's, let's look at the assault on Odike. It's wrong. Post what? Totally, no, totally wrong. Mm. That I will say. Because if you insult the chief imam, the chief imam will not send people to attack you, but people will attack you. I'm mm. sure you know that. I do. It's happened in this country. Mm. So if you learn culture, you see, the thing is we talk about education without enlightenment. We talk about growth without acculturation. We don't even understand who we are as a people. And because we don't understand who we are as a people, foreigners laugh at us. I remember going to my son's school many years ago because one of the teachers has asked him, how come you don't have a Christian name? Because my son is quick with Dakwa Chei Dakwa. So I went to the school and I asked for a hearing with the headmaster. 
And I asked that they call that teacher into the meeting. The headmaster says, no, they want to hear from me, and then they would deal with the teacher because they don't want us to have any interface directly right. with the teachers, except when we're doing assessments of the children. And I said, the teacher asked a loaded question, which belittled my son. Says, um, what is it? I says, my, he asked my son, how come he doesn't have a Christian name? Does he know the religion of my son? Does he know how my son is raised? My son is Kweku Dakwa Chi Dakwa. My pastor is Lawrence Tete. He still maintains his Lawrence. I think a lot of Ghanaians maintain their English names because maybe there was an Englishman who was their father's landlord. My father never had an Englishman as a landlord. Even in poverty, he would sleep in a small place and my mother loved him. Or say, and Papa Dankra me no Papa Bedim. So, I don't see any Japanese called Kweku Amini. I don't see any Swiss called Asante Bedi Etiyo. Mm. My dear brother, who I love and defend everywhere, and those who are sending nonsense about him to me, if you have nothing true to say about him, leave him alone. He has style, so what? His style is from Ghana money. No, you don't have style. That is why you may not like him. If he has done something wrong, say it. If it is true, I will go to him and speak to him. And after I've spoken to him in two months, if he doesn't do anything about it, I will speak about it publicly. I love people, but my loyalty is to values. Let's, or let's, decay's mm, loyalty mm. is to values, but otumra, oto amamre, oto amanie. There have been calls for him to apologize and all of that, and he has said that for people who suggestedly uh, may have spearheaded such an attack. Those uh, who are being being repentant would be would be pretty difficult. Well, pretty what would you what would you proffer for him in this instance? Should he apologize to Nananu? I would talk to him as a brother. Mm. He cannot even but very briefly on that. I want us no, to look at another issue. I can, to he know. cannot even apologize to Nananu. Mm. He must plead with Nananum to apologize to to, on his behalf. Right. Because he doesn't have the place nor the import mm. to speak directly to his village chief, let alone to a tomb for. See, right. let's understand culture. I cannot go and speak to Nanado without first trying to make an appointment through one of his people who serve him as chief of staff, or in the greatest case scenario, through Asante Bediatio, who is his secretary. Right. So why do we not learn culture? And this is why I've always talked you know, whenever I've gone on the GBC Wednesday morning show to talk on the headlines that we need to have education for seven-year-olds to 10-year-olds that we call civics and citizenship. Mm. You see, it is not enough to know the fish fork and the steak knife. You must also know where to greet from when you go to the funeral. You must also know who to bow to. You must also know who to rise for. In Ashanti culture, you know, women don't rise for the king because the women are the ones who instill the king. Yeah. You know, but I see women where uh, when anybody comes, they all rise. Now, it is beautiful that they say out of love they rise. But in our culture, in Adansi, and Adansi has influenced most cultures in this country because the concept of the linguist comes from Adansi. It started from Adansi to have somebody speak for the king. Mm. The first public communicator in the world is in the Bible. Moses could not speak, so God gave him Aaron. Aaron spoke. In Adansi, in tradition, we decided that somebody speaks for the king. In the event that the king has a face where he cannot communicate, his word is still given to his linguist, mm. and it is spoken eloquently. Mm. Even building of houses, in this country, in this tradition, in this region, it's planted by the Adansi. That is why they call them Adensifu. Mm -hmm. Adensifu. That's what we are. So if you will learn your culture, and I encourage all of you, whether you are Wasa, whether you are Igbo, whether you are Dagbani, whether you are from Bono, whether you are from Adidoma, learn your culture. Sit at the feet of your elders. For if you understand your culture, it will give you a certain confidence too. I guess gone are the days when we had cultural studies, for example, which I studied in school, uh, but all of those maybe non-existent today. But let, let, me, let, me, let me just tie this into another conversation related to Nananum. It has to do with the Agbogbomefia, 
of the Asogli state, Togbi Afede the 14th. Who serves Togbi Siri? Yes. Good. And he in recent times has been in the news for sometimes uh, very positive reasons, but others would say negative reasons that he's playing politics. Why? He rejected his exgratia after serving on the Council of State. And that became topical, over 300,000 uh, Ghana cities involved. Recently, he had uh, reason to reiterate why he turned it aside. That for him, with all that he's achieved and everything, he doesn't feel Ghana should be giving him that kind of money. Do you agree with him? And for those who have lashed out at him, what do you make of them? I agree with him for returning the money. Mm. I agree with him. On the other hand, he could have chosen to receive the money and publicly give it to charity or silently give it to charity. Mm. But you see, every nation will have certain watershed moments where one of our own will show a path of selflessness. I want you all, when we close this program, because I'm an avid reader, you know, my girlfriend gets upset sometimes. I mean, there was a time when we're lying in bed and I would touch her and then I would read and I would touch. And she thought we we're going to make love. And then she rose over to me and I said, no, 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 I was just using the wetness to turn over the pages. And I read because that is who I am. And those who can read but do not read are no better than those who cannot read. Go read the Constitution. Find out about the Council of State. What exactly do they do? Mm. Is it purposeful? And if it is purposeful, is the president obliged to take their advice? He is not. Thank you. So why do we have it? It's purposeless. It's purposeless. Now, what is, what is the use of Kwesi Chum forming a board of governors for this organization? You know, a rather moderate organization, because by, by all standards, it is not the biggest broadcasting network in Ghana. That is still GBC. But Kwesi Chum says, I have formed a board of governors with all the knowledge in broadcasting, in ethics, in etiquette, in all other aspects of public communication, because broadcasting is not the only public communication, and in human resource management. But the CEO is not obliged to take their advice. That organization is purposeless. It is a purposeless gathering of great people. That serves us nothing, but that wastes money. And that is what I love Toby for. What, what then, what, what then do we- That is what I love Toby for. Mm. So what it is telling us is that many of our ancestors Many of those we call our leaders, who mm. in essence are our servants, who when they do well will become servant leaders, are very mild-minded. My son, Kweku Dakwache Dakwa said something many years ago. His teacher called me and he says, you're gonna have to get Kweku to go into politics. And I said, why? He's a Ghanaian. If he goes to politics, I want him to go and do it in Ghana. He says, but he's a British citizen. Don't limit your son. Let him fly. Wherever he lives, he will be a shepherd. And I said, but what has happened? He says, Kweku had an argument with one boy in the school called Dexter. The argument got so heated, it looked like it was going to turn into fisticuffs. And Kweku patted Dexter on the shoulder and said, Dexter, some people are wise, but you are otherwise. Some of our leaders are wise. Some are otherwise. And Some they, are otherwise. And they right. are helping to waste our national resources. The concept of ex gratia mm. has to be discussed with urgency. And that's, that's the very next question I'm no, coming no, to. I, so, I, so, I knew so, you were going so, to. So, so, let, with urgency. Let, let me just bring this in. So, Cut it out. Stop it. My father has worked for 84 years, paid all his taxes. Right. He's not begging for anybody to give him money before he goes home. Mm. And you get a chance to serve. Give contracts. Mm -hmm. I believe, no, you don't take any bribes. But when you give the contracts, people come and thank you. And because of the position you're in, you don't queue for anything. And because of the position you're in, you don't pay rent for years. Mm -hmm. Because of the position you're in, you have access to loans and things that other people who work harder than you and who are smarter than you don't have access to. And yet, you say you cannot write a book when you get out of power. You are so meek and mild, and you are so handicapped, and you are so sick 
that we must look after you? I do understand. Let us maintain the dignity of the king. It is a game of chess, not checkers. Let us provide for the king when he gets out of power. Everybody else, go and continue working. Everybody else, apart from the president, even the vice president, go and continue working. Why should I, let's, why should I look after you? Let's, hey, let's, let's why should I you. and my children look after you when you have been in a position to also earn an income before we elevated we, you? We have this Gracia interesting... Is in Kwasiasam. Mm. Stop it. We have Article 71. Change everything on there. Which, on which all of this is founded. The, you're, the you're, you're asking for a no. wholesale exactly. review of Article Check 71. Check it out. That, that's, I said ex gratia. Right. All of us have a national discussion immediately. Mm. I speak with the heart of a suffering Ghanaian. I am not suffering. Let me tell you something. When Nanado gets very ill, where does he go? Answer the question. We've reversed it for a minute. Let's do hard talk for a minute. <laughs> when Nanado gets seriously ill, where do we fly him to? We know our politicians go out of the country. Not our politicians. I said Nanado, the president who I love mm. and who I have loved and respected. When it gets critical, he gets out of the country. To where? To the UK? Maybe. Many of these other countries. Good. When his vice president. Look, there will come a time where we may not even need a vice president. Because mm. really, what exactly does a vice president do? Really, really, there may come a time. Because if we don't- Is that act, rule redundant? Oh, please. It is totally redundant. I said so. Those who say they are intellectuals- so Dr. Dr. Baumia's office no, is Mount, redundant? He has an office which is totally redundant. Mm. What, what are you talking about? Even in America, what does the vice president do? Even in America, what does the vice president do? Even in the UK, what is a vice prime minister? A prime minister what is that? Look, we are not talking like people who have brains. We have brains. We did not go to school to learn common sense. Mm. We went to school to learn trades. But as for common sense, it is taught at home. And when you are sufficiently taught common sense, then you get the rarest form of common sense, which is wisdom. If we say we are broke, and we cannot even get hospital beds. And pregnant women are sleeping on the floor before they deliver. And good fathers who have worked and paid their taxes all their years will drive to the front of a hospital and die in a car because there is no bed. Why do we have so many? Look, if you gave me, Kwesi Chei Dakwa, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, I will run the whole place with a total staff of 70 people. I said so. He, whoever wants to challenge me, come and sit with me, I'll show you. But I don't even want an appointment. Because right now the corruption is so bad, anybody who is not already in there, don't take an appointment. You will disgrace yourself. Wow. I don't even want an appointment. Let, 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 let me and I've never asked for one from anybody. You know right. why? I am so friggin' content. Look, if you arrive in a Rolls Royce, I will walk and I'll get a seat before you. Not only in Ghana, but in all the best places to eat around the world. You may pay more, but I will get a seat before you. Why? Because I'm kind to the waiters. That's it. And if you think, if you think the customer is king, let me tell right. you what. The waiter is the emperor. Let, 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 let me just put this question to you very quickly. And, and based on what you say, I'll follow up from there. Thank you. Is the president, Nanado Dankwe Kofuado, a friend of yours? Would you call him a friend? He's a senior friend of mine. A senior friend. 35 good years. Great. When we see each other, you see the sparkle in our eyes. Right. And I think that right now, he may think I'm criticizing his government too much. Mm. But one day when he has left power, he will call me and sit with me and we will dine. We will break bread. And you say, Quisi, I wish you had spoken earlier. And that is actually what I was about to get to. Good. Since you've spoken so much about the president and Nana Santi Bediatu, his uh, secretary, his executive secretary, and all. He's my brother. You obviously have the ear yeah. of Mr. President. But I don't go to politicians. I why, tell you that why, already. Why have you not spoken about all of these matters? Like, a lot of people are sending in messages. It is not my job. KKD, why haven't you been speaking about these issues it up is until not, now? I you, to, could, you could actually affect what is Have you asked your question country. already, or you want why to Why haven't you spoken to him? Because... When you give people a job, mm -hmm. you've got to give them time. 
You don't change a player in the first 15 minutes of the Champions League unless they are badly injured. You need to give them time. And usually that time is a whole first term. It's been and almost six years. That time is a whole first term, right? So looking back now, I think Ghanaians were unfair to John Mahama because he didn't speak much. He had a communications team that failed him, that were more interested in hearing their own voices than to speak about the work that man is doing. I've heard things said about him. He's my brother, because for me, my father's mother has ancestors from the north. Mm. And there was a time when somebody sat in company with me when we were dining and opened his mouth to say, ah, which means we will not sit down for nothingness to rule over us. Mm. I was heartbroken. I didn't say anything in company. But when we got up and we're going back to our cars, I tapped him on the shoulder and I called him to the side and I told him, do you know that I have a sister called Adiza? Do you know that I have a sister called Hawa? They actually use those names. And do you know that my name from the north is Masaudu? says, oh, Chrissy, why are you telling me this? I said, because of the remark you made over there, right? So if we could victimize this president so much, and now people in the MPP are calling me and I quote them, and these are not juniors in the MPP, and I quote them, Abba, Nanado the other who don't know, Nana Memuono, Amana Yasa, John Mahama, Yesu Christo. John Mahama is not perfect. Right. Because the Akonfem also flew out of Ghana. Right. Right? Because the talk of that bauxite thing also sounded like nepotism. But is that nepotism different from what has happened with PDS? Is that nepotism different from what has happened with a nation getting poorer mm. and a minister at the presidency getting richer of the nations getting poorer? And the minister of our financial affairs company, which some evil people, some of them respectable men who should go quietly into the dark night so that their children may still benefit from their name, defending this conflict of interest and without first even doing disclosure that I want to speak on this. And before anybody says anything, I want to say I am a non-executive director of Data Bank, so I'm actually a beneficiary. I see. That I didn't know. If you, oh, of, of course. You know, I, I, I don't like saying his name because this is a man who is an Adansi, mm. and he's also this year like me. Mm. He serves his chief like me. Mm. I can speak because I do not sit on the big throne. But when I'm elevated to that big throne, my voice will be lost in politics. That is why I must speak now. Right. KKD, let's wrap off the conversation. Nana KKD. <laughs> Nana KKD. Thank you. Let's cap off the conversation. We're actually pressed for time. We've exhausted our time, but I had to sneak in these two quick bits. You want a one sentence answer? I'll give it to you. The NPP, the current administration, wants to break the eight. What is break the eight? Break the cycle of eight year, 10 I years. I think it is for... stupidity that anybody even opened his mouth to say that. Mm. Be purposeful, be intentional. Do they deserve to no, break the eight? I, I don't, I think it is stupidity that mm. anybody even coined that term, mm. right? You have married a woman for eight years. The woman is displeased. She's thinking of leaving you. It is at that point that you now say, everything you've been asking for, I am now coming to do. Mm. If I had my way, I would say, all the people of the CPP who have left to join other parties, including all the people of the CPP who through greed and selfishness, when they were no longer the leader, decided to leave to form another party, get back together so there will be a third force. Because what is going on is this, you may not have seen it, or you may have seen it and do not want to say it. But as for my brother Kojo Youngson, Kojo, if they sack you, I'll share my mpotompoto with you. <laughs> Speak up. Because, my brother, the MPP 
accuses the NDC of thievery, mm. and then they get into power. You accused somebody of thievery. Mm. Have you prosecuted them? Have you convicted them? Some even accused Ibrahim Mahama, who is my brother too, mm -hmm. of doing things to the country. And then when he opened his testament, they were congratulating him. Yeah, true. So my point is, when you now are in fleeting possession of power, what is it that hinders you from prosecuting the thieves that you proclaimed they were? Is it because you have now taken from their pot of gold? Or is it because who say one kasa now we of Fonsa, no asha one so one sir. You have seen you are also going to do the very same things they did and worse. So if you will imprison them, you will be executed. No, no, in 30 seconds, the way forward for Ghana. The way forward for Ghana. Everybody <clears throat> who loves his party, stay with your party, don't change your party. Change your leader. Change your MP if they are arrogant, for arrogant people cannot serve. Keep them if they are competent, for competent people will have the confidence to do the right thing. But those who have a mind, because people who do not have a mind in the first place can never change it. Those who have a mind, if you are in a party which is corrupt, which is disgraceful, which you now have looked at and compared with others and have seen that, oh, in truth, they have done better than what we have. Change your mind and change your party and fill this space with new people from the ages of 21 to 72. And let all above 72 go and sit at home and play with your grandchildren. End of story. KKD, what can I say? Nana KKD. It's, it's, <laughs> would you prefer King? King is my first name. Mm -hmm. King George. My full name is King George Chrissy Chey Dako. Right. And when I got enlightened at the age of 12, I was in Prisec. Mm. And that is when I decided I didn't want to be called George again. So my classmates, Henry Akufu, Saida, Mahmoud, um, uh, Alberto. Oh, I actually know. And uh, Alberto and Gerardo Nichuga, every time they want to upset me, they intentionally call me George. You know, because they know. Nana <laughs> KKD. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's been, you've given us a lot of food for thought. And we're grateful that you came by. And I don't want to today. be a political leader. And you because it bared is it all. A cultural leader is for life. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Kwesiche Dakwa. Nana Kwesiche Dakwa. Uh, His Royal Blackness joined us in the studio today. And like we promised, he bared it all. And uh, you might have found maybe unsavory some of what he said, but he actually said, what was on his heart. No quare ya bakope. Thank you. Na nia usro no quare no. On ya kwadjufwa na oye umfu. There is only one truth. The one who is afraid of truth is either indolent or a coward. Let's get um so right from here. We'll be connecting, of course, to the Accra International Conference Center. We have a lot coming your way today. We kickstart the Echo Bank Joy News Habitat Fair, the final installment, uh, which is coming off from there. A whole lot more on the AM show. Do stay. We'll be right back. Thank you.